Hi, we have four squares placed together like shown. The two small squares on the left are identical to each other and are eight square units in area. If a triangle PQR was to be drawn like this, what would be the area of this triangle? The solution to this problem amuses. Do pause the video to think of the solution yourself. I'll lead you towards answer. We know that the area of a triangle is half base times height. So we need two measurements here, the base and the height. If we look at the figure, we'll be able to see that the measurement for base PQ can be easily found out as it forms the diagonal of the square APFQ. Now it's time to find out the height of the triangle. Looks difficult, hmm? Some of us must be thinking that something is missing from the problem because the size of this big square is not given. I mean it could be very large like this or very tiny like this and that would obviously change the area of the triangle, right? Well, the trick here is to see that the height does not at all depend on the size of the biggest square. If you doubt it, let's try and check if the size of this biggest square is at all relevant. Well, if the height happens not to depend on the size of the biggest triangle, we know that the area of the biggest square is not relevant here. To find our height, let's construct a line MN such that it passes through points P and Q and a line YZ such that it passes through points R and C. Now we should be able to see that line MN and XY are parallel. It's because both of these lines being diagonals of the square APFQ and GRHC make 45 degrees with the parallel lines FQ and CH respectively. Now as we can see, no matter what the size of the rightest square, point R will always lie on line YZ giving a constant perpendicular distance between lines MN and YZ. And therefore, the height of the triangle PQR will remain fixed between parallel lines MN and YZ, thus giving the same area irrespective of where the point R is located. Our next step would be to stop when point R is at point C. We can always do this as no matter where on line MN point R is, area will always remain same and we can always do this for ease in calculation. So line PR is now the diagonal of the square PBCD. Here angle QPR will be 90 degrees, therefore the height of the triangle PQR given by PR will be equal to the diagonal of the square PBCD. Now let's try and find out PQ and PR for the actual numerical value of area of the triangle PQR. To find out PQ, let's look at the square APFQ. Because the area of the square is given by half diagonal square, here half times diagonal PQ square will be equal to 8 or diagonal PQ will be equal to 4 units. To find out PR, let's look at the square PVCD. Because the area of this square PVCD will be 4 times the area of the square APFQ, half diagonal PC square will be equal to 8 times 4 equals to 32 square units. Or the diagonal PC will be equal to root 64 equals to 8 units. Therefore, the area of the triangle PQR equals to half base times height equals to half 4 times 8 equals to 16 square units. So we found out that the area of the triangle PQR will be twice the area of a small square on the left. Like and subscribe for more interesting videos. Do not forget to share with your friends and family.